Hello everyone and welcome back to lesson 21 of my English videos. Today we're going to talk about idioms, part 1. What is an idiom? An idiom is a phrase or expression that typically presents a figurative, non-literal meaning attached to the phrase. What is an idiom used for? To add dynamism and character, to express complex ideas in a simple way, and to help express a large or abstract idea in a way that is succinct and easy to understand. Today we're going to talk about 30 idioms. 1. Beat the clock. It means to succeed in something before time is up. Sam beat the clock, arriving a few minutes before the doors were locked. That means he arrived on time. 2. Turn back the hands of time. It means to go back to the past. I love the age my kids are now, but sometimes I miss having babies. I wish I could turn back the hands of time and experience that special time all over again. So this means that she wishes she could go back to the past when her kids were babies. 3. Kill time. It means to do something not particularly interesting to pass time. I often read some novel to kill time when I am alone at home. So she usually reads a novel to pass the time. 4. In for a penny, in for a pound. It means that someone is intentionally investing his time or money for a particular project or task. When his company was booming, Jim was in for a penny and in for a pound. That's how dedicated he was. So that means that when his company was booming, he invested all his time or money in his company. 5. A bird in the hand is better than two in the bush. It means an opportunity in hand currently is better than a prospect in the future because time never repeats itself. The detective apprehended three criminals and saw another one running but didn't chase him because she knew a bird in one hand is better than two in the bush. 6. Chip off the old block. It means that a person is similar in behavior or actions to his parents. When grandmother saw her grandson collecting coins like her son used to do, she knew he was a chip off the old block. That means she knew he was similar to his dad. 7. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It means to treat people the same way you want to be treated. I felt Peter was a little cold today towards that homeless man. He should do unto others as he would have them do unto him, because he could be in their situation one day. So it means he should have treated him the way he wants to be treated. 8. Don't cry over spilt milk. It means don't cry over what has happened as it cannot be fixed. Walter failed his examination, but his dad came and said just one thing. Son, don't cry over spilled milk, which means don't cry over something you cannot change. 9. Every cloud has a silver lining. It means bad things one day eventually lead to good things. See, you were so sad that you weren't accepted in the university you wanted, but look at you today. You met your future partner at this university, and that wouldn't have been possible if you had gone to the university that you wanted. Every cloud has a silver lining. So her not being accepted in the university that she wanted, which was something bad, led to something good, which was her meeting her future partner at a different university. 10. Beside yourself with joy. It means to be extremely happy. I can see that you are beside yourself with joy on being selected for the job. Congratulations! That means I can see that you're extremely happy. 11. Fair and square. It means being direct or fair. To tell you fair and square, I did everything that I was meant to do, but I still feel unfulfilled. So it means to tell you directly and honestly. 12. Having an ace up the sleeve. It means to have an advantage that is currently being withheld for future purposes. Brian kept quiet at the board meeting. Who knew he had an ace hidden up his sleeve the whole time? So who knew he had an advantage that he was waiting for the future to use? 13. A black sheep. It means being a disgrace to the family. They don't talk about Olive anymore. It turns out he was the black sheep of the family. He married someone else while he was still engaged to his fiancée. So that means that he's a disgrace to the family because of what he did. 14. Hook, line, and sinker. It means doing something or trying to achieve something with thoroughness and passion. I have set my mind to go through the spreadsheets by Monday, and I am working for it hook, line, and sinker. So I'm working for it with all my time and effort. 15. Looking to your laurels. It means to work in order to keep one's success or position. They're very good players, 
we'll have to look to our laurels. So it means we need to work hard to keep our position or we'll lose to the other team. 16. Bear a grudge. It means to continue to feel angry or unfriendly towards someone or something because of a particular past incident. I bear a grudge against him for telling my secret. So that means I'm still angry and unfriendly towards him because he told my secret in the past. 17. By the skin of your teeth. It means to just barely get by or make it. Lester made the dance team by the skin of his teeth. You see, the audition gates were about to get closed. So he barely made the dance team. 18. Down for the count. It means tired or giving up. My dog is down for the count after playing all day with the frisbee, so that means my dog is tired. 19. Draw the line. It means to stop before a point where something okay gets not okay. Hey buddy, that's enough. Draw the line before someone gets hurt. So that means stop before someone gets hurt. 20. Easier said than done. It means not as easy as it appears to be. Listen, losing weight is easier said than done. Many people lack commitment. So losing weight seems easier than it actually is. 21. Break a leg. It means saying good luck to someone. It's usually used in the theater. Hey, Barry, it's time for you to get on the stage and present your monologue. Break a leg. So it means good luck. 22. Up a creek without a paddle. It means in an unlucky situation. Dan tried to dine and dash yesterday at a Chinese place, but he was stopped by the waiters. I guess he was up a creek without a paddle yesterday, so I guess he was unlucky yesterday. 23. Give it a whirl. It means to give something a try. I am absolutely terrified of skydiving, but I think once in my life, I will give it a whirl. So, once in my life, I will give it a try. 24. Fish out of water. It means to be out of your comfort zone. Tom felt like a fish out of water when his girlfriend took him to a Star Wars convention in L.A. So Tom felt out of his comfort zone because he was going to a place that he wasn't used to going to. 25. In the fast lane. It means a life filled with excitement. When Chris turned 40, he decided to live his life in the fast lane and quit his job for his hobbies. So he decided to live a life filled with excitement. 26. Go the extra mile. It means to make an extra effort. He was willing to go the extra mile for the love of his life, Mia. It means he was willing to make an extra effort for her. 27. Snug as a bug in a rug. It means warm and cozy. The baby looks as snug as a bug in a rug next to her mother. So the baby looks warm and cozy next to her mother. 28. Step up your game. It means to start performing better. Jennifer better step up her game if she wants to make it in basketball. That means Jennifer needs to start performing better if she wants to make it in basketball. 29. To not see the wood for the trees. It means to be so involved in trivial matters that you don't get the important facts. He always argues on the silliest topics. It's like he can't see the wood for the trees. So he's so busy with unimportant topics that he can't see the important topics. 30. Lose your marbles. It means to go insane. Our mailman has lost his marbles. Every day he drops Mr. Smith's mail at our door. So our mailman has gone insane. These are the 30 idioms for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which idioms you've heard of before. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. As always, see you in the next one.